it all started from river mahanadi ganges of odisha in pre independence era mahanadi used to bring annual floods to odisha after independence to tackle the flood the first government under pandit nehru built the world's longest dam over mahanadi a 5 km long mighty hirakud dam The Hirakud Dam in the Indian state of Orissa is the longest in the world, three miles long in fact. Flying in the Russian plane given him by the Soviet leaders on their goodwill tour, Premier Nehru came to perform the inauguration of this great project. However, this is not a story about Hirakud Dam, but another modern temple. When the dam was nearing completion, the question came, who will operate and maintain it? Thus, in 1956, Orissa got its first engineering college at the foothill of Hirakud Dam it was named University College of Engineering also known as UCE Burla UCE celebrated its golden jubilee in 2007 a year after that the government of Odisha brought an act in the state assembly to make it a unitary state university as a mark of respect to the man who fought the british valiantly surendra sai UCE was rechristened as Veer Surendra Sai University of Technology. This university gives a hope to the state. In fact, the this only university has developing the highest quality faculty. We are having about 250 faculty, which is about 60 percent of the faculty are graduated and PhD is obtained from the. Uh, IITs and NITs. What started with 70 students in three branches now has 5,200 students in 13 undergraduate courses, 300 students in 30 postgraduate courses, and numerous PhDs. It once functioned from a warehouse of Hirakud Dam project. Now it has a sprawling campus of 350 acres. When we joined, there were 70 students. Uh, practically there were no infrastructures we have seen uh, the college coming up from grassroots level up to the completion stage to meet the need of the dam in 1956 it started with three departments civil mechanical and electrical with the advent of the communication era in 1972 electronics and telecommunication department started Computer science department was added in 1994 followed by production in 1996 and information technology in 2003 subsequently courses like chemical engineering metallurgy architecture and electrical and electronics were introduced the departments like uh, chemical engineering metallurgy production they have been added to meet the requirements of the state especially because this is a mineral rich uh, state where we need to have the exploration in due course of time we are also planning to have the mining department the university labs are equipped with modern facilities for research and industry level training facilities like high voltage lab scanning electron microscope 3d printer microwave lab hydraulic flow lab and virtual manufacturing lab encourage students to take a deep dive into the sea of technology electronic electrical mechanical almost in all field people are more motivated because of the addition of new equipment and research facility today's date more than 200 research scholars are working now in the burla which had never happened the university has a huge central workshop facility where students get hands on experience on basics of engineering like carpentry metal cutting welding leading and blacksmith spread across three floors its library is the largest technical library in the region with over 60000 books the library is fully automated and gives access to online resources with a capacity of 1500 the university has the biggest auditorium in the region this is where workshops and seminars are held regularly come evening and the sports fields at the campus becomes lively spirited exchanges in the classroom are taken to the sports field and for arnold fans it has a fully equipped gymnasium facility 
What makes education at VSSUT so special and unique? On-time examinations, tough evaluation standards and strict deadlines of submissions of reports are few of the uncompromising attitudes of VSSUT. This makes the students to gradually elevate from learners to professionals who are ready to face the highly challenging career where only the finest and fittest grow. Yet, the faculties are not mere teachers, but mentors, philosophers and guide. The teaching learning process is not confined up to 5 p.m. During project time and other time, not from my department, people are coming at night, 9, 9 o'clock in the night and they'll knock my door. Sir, I am having data. Can you expect this thing in other, um, other institutions? So the faculty we have, especially in electrical department, they are like very trained and very qualified people. They have a lot of experience teaching kids, so they are really good with their students. The university is at the epicenter of a massive industrialization that is taking place in Odisha. It is uniquely surrounded by industries like Vedanta Aluminium, Hindalco Industries, Burla Hydro Power Station, Mahanadi Coal Fields, AES, ACC Cement, Ultratech Cement, Nalco and NTPC among others. This provides for excellent opportunity for students to undertake industrial tours and summer trainings where they learn things like processes and safety gadgets which makes them industry ready. Creativity and innovation have become a culture at VSSUT. Take various clubs for example. It has technical clubs like Robotics Club, Baha SAE Club, Satellite Club and cultural clubs like Souls, Vibrance, Pixels and many more. They participate in various national level competitions and often beat the best. Winning has become their habit now. You think of any activity, we have got a club for that. We have got art and photography club. We have got a very good robotics club. Then we are involved in Baha SAE for making this uh, altered vehicles and all this and our students also winning prizes awards in those competitions we are going for one club that is called the innovation club or the innovation center and we are encouraging our students to go for innovation filing patents and we are we have, we have got success in that also we are free to do anything there are a lot of clubs there are a lot of initiatives that have been taken by students who are being appreciated by our teachers uh, the space and rocket club 40 students are working with such an enthusiasm and the kind of knowledge level they are having right now I was discussing is thoroughly satisfied. And we should provide a platform for them and we should believe number one so that they should be able to experiment and they should commit error and they should not be afraid of committing error and we should encourage them committing error. With the arrival of cultural fest Vasant or the technical fest Samavesh, students show the true spirit of togetherness and the best part, everything is organized by them only. Although the leading is taken by the students, of course they are guided by some teachers. Okay. But this develops their leadership quality in that. We are allowing them to go to other universities or institutes of higher learning and see what are the facilities there. We are exposing them and we are creating those facilities also here. Students here are conscious of their social responsibility. They have formed Sanskar Kendra in which they have adopted a school in a neighboring village where they teach underprivileged kids. No surprise, the school has 100% success rate in the matriculation examination year after year. 60 years of legacy has produced nearly 30,000 alumni who are spread across the globe but network to their alma mater. They have built the infrastructure like Golden Jubilee Gate, e-learning center, e-library and Golden Jubilee Seminar Hall. They help in summer training, in placements, in promoting innovation and sponsoring various club activities. Rarely, one does come across a university which is surrounded by mountains and lush green. While the mighty Hirakud Dam overlooks the university, the giant Mahanadi flows in its front yard and backyard. I love the environment in Burla. I know Shillong is a hilly region and the plains here I really love them especially when I wake up in the morning and I see I have the back wing of my hostel so the first thing I see is the Gandhi Minar I love that scenery in the morning. VSSUT campus is a home away from home with six boys hostel and five girls hostel it is home to 5,500 students far from the hustle bustles of the city the campus has a true Gurukul culture in this campus one earns friends for a lifetime 
it also creates a very special senior junior bonding which is very unique to this university i just want to say when i came in the first year over here one of my seniors said tu jab burla se jayega sabse zyada tujhe yahi yaad aayega senior junior relationship today i feel that how uh, how valid the, those words were sir we are like a family if someone is not well then we take care of them we eat together we sit together we go together we laugh together everyone is so emotionally bonded it is not like i am a first year i am a second year or my final year if i am a final year and it is not that ki if i am doing something wrong my junior can't say being in vssut not only teaches engineering it teaches skills of life which remain with the students for a lifetime BSSUT make sure that its children go out with a never say die attitude and are well prepared to face the outer world Even if you fall it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world you still have chances you can still grow if you keep trying I think that has been a very important thing that I have learned after coming to this college and the time comes when it has to say goodbye to its children it never forgets them neither the students forget their alma mater it's not just a bond of four years it's a bond of one's lifetime yeah obviously it's my best we can say it's the best moment of my life actually this four year when i will be passing out this passing out of this college it will be my best year always always that uh, from 1956 to 1960 These four years are most memorable in my life. We'll never forget. Every engineering institute has an obligation to society, born out of a very practical need such as flood control. BSSUT has never strayed away from solving the problems of society. For six decades, it has been a front runner in building a modern nation, and it will continue to create. the rare breed of nation builders called vss utms i am anukta and i am a vss utm my name is yogesh and i am a vss utm i am priya and i am a vss utm my name is aditya and i am a vss utm i am tadasha and i am a vss utm my name is satatajo and i am a vss utm my name is sarath kumar mahanti i am a vss utm